Hey, what's going on, guys? So, um, what I'll do real quick is I'll just cover a few different markets and then send over, uh, or, and then go over them. And then, like I said, we can go over any more details that you want. Um, let me just try to find a market to start with. Um, basically, what I do is to find the to find the daily trend, you know, is or any trend is this it works the same for me. Is to is to focus on the candles. You know, right now these are regular candlesticks. You know, so it's um, you know, op open here, close here, open here, close here, you know, the green is open here, close here, you know, and so on and so on. You know, so you know, it shows you who was in control each day. You know, here are the bears. We opened here. The bulls try to rally up. The bears sold it down, and we closed down here. The next day, we opened here. You know, and we went up, down. It had the same day. That's a bullish engulfing pattern. So usually, it means up. You know, and so on and so on. So what I do mm -hmm. to make the trend easier to find. It's like I said, I use the Heiken Ashy candles, and you can customize these however you want based on your platform. Um, then that helps you see the trend. You know, like for example, on US dollar JPY, we've been basically sideways for the past year. You know, we we finally had a break down. Here was all the support right down here at uh, 118 area, and that was broke right here. Usually, when it breaks out, it looks below. Like it did, and then it rallies, and it's going to sell back off. What you need to focus on in any market, in anything, is just previous support and resistance. You know, that's so key. Like right here, back here. See how this was all support? And then look, and this is resistance up here. And then that broke, so we popped up. Look at this. This is resistance. Where did the market come down to? Right here. To support you see how see that gray line how the market came down that's what I'm saying if you place daily orders without stops it allows you to you know place a, a long order here and you may take some heat and then you're gonna make money and you get out then you could take a short up here you see how it came up stopped up here came down came back up for a retest you know this is a resistance so you could put another order here and if you use a stop, your stop up here, or no stop, it came down, you take your profits, you see it down in this area, you buy it again long, you may wait, you may you make a little money, go up and down, you know, if you're just holding it, like I said, I hold it for bigger targets. So then this took about, you know, two months sideways, you know, so you would if you would have got long here, you've been, you made, like I said, up and down, and then it finally broke out up here. So then you could have just waited a month, took a little bit of heat, not much, depending on where you got in at. If you got in up here, you know, and it came down here, you're taking heat. But if you got in around down here, you didn't really take much heat. So then you just made, what is that, to hold it on to that, five, 500 pips or so, you know, then, you know, get out. You know, that's what I'm saying. My targets are previous areas before. So if, if I was long here, obviously, you don't see... You don't see any uh, any of this stuff happening, you know. So if I was long here, I would look to get out somewhere around here with a target. But I always try to put my target a little bit lower, so that way I try to get a fill versus trying to suck some profits out. In case, because sometimes if my target was up here, the market could rally like it did, not hit my target, and then sell off. So that way I don't get filled, you know, and lock in profits. So that's what I always try to try to do. Um, on this pair, I'll just go through the ones. And if there's anyone you guys trade, I'll give you analysis. On this pair, I'm going to look to short it again when it gets up around here. Uh, $1.19 area on the USDJPY. Let me go to some other pairs of Euro. Euro, US dollar. We're just been going sideways. We had a massive sell off here, you know. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna go lower, but they're just bullshitting. So you gotta see what they're gonna, what Draghi's gonna do. 
you know, last month when he opened his mouth, it shot up, and now we've been in this range, we've been sideways, you know, so technically, every time it came down here, you could buy, put your stop under here, or just buy with no stop, and then sell when it got up here, see how it's in a range, so we're kind of like in a bull, a bull type flag, because we have, we made a push, push, now we're consolidating, now we're consolidating, so more than likely, we may just it's going to consolidate and then pop, but you never know. It could just as easily consolidate and go down. But we're getting tighter and tighter on ranges. So people are putting their stops here. People are putting their stops here, 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 here. So when all those stops get hit, the market's going to reverse either that way or that way rapidly because the stops getting hit. And then obviously new people, new people coming in trying to buy the breakout and break down. Um, This pair is killing me right here. This is a uh, USD CAD. Mm -hmm. um, I'm short it, so I'm hoping it breaks down here. And if it does, I'll short some more down to here, take quick profits. But I'm short from all the way down here. I'm short from here, here, I think maybe even here, I think here, I think even here. So I have a lot of shorts down here. I'm getting my ass kicked waiting for them to come back but in the meantime you know I didn't short up here I think I'm short from here and here so I have some orders up here that I'm gonna hold as it sells off if we go higher of course we'll be taking more heat but this run up right here is just huge so I'm pretty sure we're, we have, we're due for some due for some red bars we've got a few right here coming in but the market's finding a support but I don't know if that's gonna hold because there's really nothing else there so it's all artificially you know overbought anyway so I'm pretty sure we should this should fail we should come down here maybe try to dance maybe bounce some more but then ultimately I think we fail back down to here you know and that'll help me make some money back and you know if I uh, if I have bigger orders up here it'll allow me to you know lock those in and, and close the whole position for a, a profit because right down here you could have like maybe uh, five cents or 10 cents a pip orders down here, 50 cents, whatever. You know, so as, as you're taking heat and the market starts to sell off, you know, and you feel like it's gonna keep selling off, that's when you do bigger orders, you know, with or without stop. So then if it does sell off down to here, your bigger orders will be making a lot of money that will allow you to close out these smaller orders and you can close out the overall position. So if you have 15 trades on and a lot of them are small but you have a couple big ones, those big ones can um, make enough profits so that you can close out the losing ones too and still make money overall and then just sit and wait and get back in. Um, that's something I'm, about, I'm in the middle of working on. Um, but again, the Canadian dollar is tied to oil. When oil sucks, it goes down. And, you know, obviously this is long, the dollar short, the Canadian dollar. And I'm short this, so that means I'm short the U.S. dollar along the Canadian dollar. So every time oil goes up, USD CAD right here, um, or every time oil goes down, I'm sorry, this pair will go up. So oil... Oil was getting its ass kicked, but it's coming back today. It's above $30 a barrel again. So, um, like I said, if if oil keeps rallying, this should keep selling off. You know, so that's something you can look for. Um, what other pairs are there? These are ones I'm long in. Um, I'm long this pair. You know, it's out of resistance, you know, but I think it's going to sell off and then bounce back up to this area. I have a lot of my targets up here. Um... Same with this pair, NZD USD, uh, very similar to NZD JPY, as you can see. You know, some of the pairs, most of the Japanese pairs are correlated. This one's in between a short and a long fib with a mini fib in the middle. It's just pretty much sideways, waiting for something to happen here. But you can play these smaller, so you can play these sideways ranges with smaller targets, maybe even bigger orders. Um, depends what your appetite is. Um, so that's what I'm looking to do. Um, what other pairs are there? 
Oh, this pair. This is another pair that I'm getting smoked on. I'm long from like here, 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 here. So all these right here, and I've been buying all the way down. So this just had a massive sell-off too, as you can see. Look at all those red bars. Um, so this is a downtrend. We were sideways because we made up, down, up, down. But look, we're sideways. We're trading in this right. We were in this range up to this range. Then, you know, this is the last support area that broke. Then there should be support here. There's one here, one here, but clearly that broke. So old support right here, right here and right here becomes new resistance. So more than likely this pair will rally up to this level. Look at that gray line. Look where they line up at. Bam. And then that'd be a nice place to short this pair, GBP, JPY. I'm rooting long because I'm long, and so that's where I stand. Here's, a, here's it on the... Here's the pair on the weekly GBP, JPY. Here's an up... Excuse me. There's an uptrend. I don't know how valid this is. I don't really use trend lines. I just have it there because it looks like it's holding, connected to... Two pieces. You had a trend line here, you know, that broke. Um, and you could even maybe draw one from here to here to here that broke. So, like I said, this pair is at a long term trend line. It has support here, resistance here, you know. So, if it breaks this trend line, I think that around this area is hopefully where it'll bounce. And that's where I'll look to load up even more uh, to the long side. So, anyways, I hope this video helps. If you want me to cover anything else, let me know. Um, with Fibonacci's, this just takes practice over and over to see, you know, the market. Like, for example, here's one, you know, that traded. You know, so if I see a, sw a swing low like this on the daily chart, you know, I draw the Fib. And then I put my order right here. And my stop up here somewhere. So you see how... Obviously, you know, you don't see, you don't see any of this. It's hindsight. You just see maybe this. So then you see, wow, the market, the market sold off here and came back up. Then it broke. You see this area? It broke that area. So that's when I draw the fibs, when I see a big area broke. So if I would have seen that, I would have drew this and left it and then you know days would have went by I would have monitored it you know it kind of came that it kind of started coming up right here you know so I'm monitoring it monitoring it you know and then as I see it rallying up I just put my limit order here and wait and then it comes up fills me you know that I'm in the trade and then I look to take profits down here you know but if I'm in this trade on the daily I can get in up here my stop up here wait as it starts to sell off I can move my stop under above here so that way if it does reverse you know I, I, I lose a little or make a little um, and I don't have a huge loss with my stop up here then what you can do each day is move your stop from here as the market sells off here you know, and then it just depends on how you want to manage it. You can move it each candle to lock in profits like this, you know, and then maybe even down to here, and then you would have got taken out the next day here. So that's one way you could trade it. That's how I trade it. And again, I do that on every time frame, whether it's whether it's um, uh, daily, weekly, monthly, hourly. Here's a 15-minute GBP JPY. You know, so here's a here's a trade setting up to the long side. I would take um, if I, um, which I am long this pair, but we'll see what the sentiment is. So right here is where I put my order, put my stop, and my target would be here. Notice where my targets are. See this? See what that lines up with right around here? Previous resistance. See this target? What does that line up with? The previous high right here. So then I look to get in here. Entry, stop under here, down here, maybe even under here. 
target one, target two, over and over on any time frame, 15 minute, four hour, daily, hourly, any time frame. So uh, anyways, I hope that helps. I'll make some more videos later. Just let me know some more topics. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.